Hi, I'm Nancy Grisham. I want to talk with you briefly about high stake sharing. It's those situations that we will sometimes find ourselves in when we want to share the story of Christ, but our emotions run high. I had just such a situation that a friend of mine, Kathy, told me about recently. One of her longtime friends literally was on his deathbed and she wanted to share one more time the story of Christ in the hope that he would say yes to Jesus. So Kathy took some radical steps. She took time off of her job. She cashed in frequent flyer miles. And when she got there to see her friend, he literally was on his deathbed. And so Kathy leans in close to him and she tells him how much she loves him, how much she's valued his re friendship over the years. And then she tells him why she made the trip to see him and asks permission if she could talk to him about Jesus. And he said yes. And so she just talked about God's love for him. And then she asked her friend if he would like to pray and say yes to Jesus. Now, Kathy did so many things right. And there's seven that I specifically want to highlight. And I tell you, these are seven things that I've learned over the years that have really helped me in these high stakes situations. And the first is keep good relationships. In other words, where forgiveness is needed, give forgiveness. Where we need to ask for forgiveness, hey, let's be quick to ask someone to forgive us. It's not hard, but oh, it's powerful. And then second, pray and rely on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's the only one that can do the work in and through a heart to open eyes, to know who Jesus is and what he's done. The Holy Spirit's the only one who can give faith through his word for people to say yes to him. And then third, step into the risk. Be willing to take risk for the sake of the people that you love. You don't have to be afraid. In fact, if you are afraid, step four is what you need. Just be courageous because without fear, there's no need for courage. Courage kicks in when fear's there. So lean into the risk and be courageous. And fifth, be ready. Always be ready for the hope that lies within you to tell people who need that hope. And the story is simple. God loves you. Christ died for you. And he rose from the dead to offer you the gift of forgiveness and eternal life. And then six, ask them for a response. Once they've got the information of that story, they need to know what to do with it. And so it's as simple as saying, would you like to say yes to Jesus? The great thing about this is they can say yes to Jesus at any moment in time. You don't have to be there. And we don't know the conversations that people have with God when they're alone, one-on-one. -on -one. We can trust Him. And that brings us to number seven. Leave the results to God. He's the only one who can bring faith, open eyes, and actually give the gift of forgiveness and eternal life. And I hope when those times come in your life that you and I both will make the most of the time that we have and we'll lean into God and trust Him with the results. Thanks so much and God's best to you in your high stakes sharing.